Hi and welcome back to Bike Speeds. So this week we're going to recommission this lovely old Triumph Town Bike with the great old rod brakes, free speed internal Sturmey Archer hub. And with this we're going to actually fully strip down that hub right the way down, restore that, get it all cleaned up, re-oiled and sorted out. So that hub is a big section in this video, well worth watching. We're going to do the bottom bracket bearings, we're going to do the headset bearings, we're going to replace the chain, we're going to replace the Sturmey Archer cable, we're going to clean this bike up as best as we possibly can with what is actually there. We love the original patina on bikes, so we rarely paint bikes. We just restore them with what we see in front of us. And as you can see here, the first problem we've got, this chain is absolutely slack and stretched out. So it does need a new chain. Now with this bike, we actually brought this online for ourselves to do this video. We actually paid 40 pounds for this bike. So we're going to do this bike with the minimal amount of budget possible to really show you what is achievable with this kind of bike that you can buy on the internet day in day out and what a lovely bike you can end up with a bike that you can thoroughly enjoy and ride so the first stage as with any of our videos is to strip the bike right back to the frame and assess which parts we need to either restore replace cleaning fixing etc before we weigh up putting the bike back together now we actually used a little bit of heat on these cotter pins and as you can see all I used was a heat gun you don't need a flamethrower to, to get heat into these components a good heat gun will really really rapidly heat up the metal work it will help me remove these cotter pins and the seized parts on your bike so that's what I'm just doing here a little bit of heat on that pedal then I can remove that cotter pin with the minimum amount of fuss so just give that a tap and bosh out it comes and then we'll actually get this bottom bracket all off this bike you can see on this ring here it's already a little bit damaged but we'll address that as well as we go so out come all the old bearings you can see there they fall out of that bottom bracket use a little magnet to get those out so we'll clean all that debris off inside that frame there just to make sure that I've got lovely smooth surfaces and threads and putting it all back together and you can see the way that your grease on an old bike will congeal it'll go a little bit hard so we'll clean all that off fresh grease into the bike and that will then work the way it should do you can see here the old brake pads they've skimmed right off where they weren't set at the correct angle for the bike so we'll replace those brake pads so there's a little bit of a cost there for us but we'll put new brake pads on and actually the costs on this bike were so minimal it shows you what can be achieved on a very very small budget just with lots of time and love and cleaning and lubricating on a bike to really bring it up to spec i'm going to remove everything off this bike that includes the mud guards the mud guards were a little bit distorted and deformed the rear one one of the stays there was actually snapped off of the mud guard so i'm going to weld that back on so we'll also sort out that problem and we'll get all the old dynamo lighting off here try and clean up all that sticky residue on the frame put some frame clips on there instead sort out this dynamo light make sure that everything there is working so that that's all original the lights weren't in the best of condition but to us it's all part of the spirit of the job really challenging ourselves to make something from the bike we're getting off this old cable all these old fittings you can see now that allows us to really work deep on that frame so that when we clean it and polish it we haven't got these fittings in the way we can make sure that they're all well out of the way so that it really polishes up nicely so you can see all these parts are pretty rusty we like to clean effectively between the rust so we'll clean off as much rust as we can we'll polish the component and this is never going to be a concourse bike it's going to be a usable bike so we're not too worried about that as long as we clean that rust off and then treat that piece of metal with a ceramic coating on it just to stop any water sticking to it too much then if this bike is used in the dry it's never going to deteriorate any more than it already has but it's going to be fully rideable with what we're going to sort out on this off come the handlebar grips and the hub shifter got the saddle off because we've actually got an original Brooks saddle to go on here it's actually a green Brooks saddle that was very very common in the day to go on to these type of bikes so we're going to actually swap that saddle out just to give it a little bit of originality that saddle was a lot lot later than the bike I believe this bike to be around about 73 called to the hub that was the date that was on the hub so we're going to make sure that this bike is very correct with that change of saddle so I've put parts through the ultrasonic cleaner now as you see there so as I get all the grease really deeply cleaned on each of these parts before we wash them down so we'll wash all those parts down with the degreaser including the handlebar grips they came up lovely once they were given a little bit of care and attention 
some like this one I'm using a spray degreaser because obviously we can't put this through the old sonic cleaner it just absolutely destroy it so we wash that down with a little bit more sympathy a bit of degreaser a little bit of a synthetic wash down just to make sure we don't absolutely saturate those electronic components and they actually work perfectly afterwards which we'll show you down the line now I'm going to use some wire wool on the handlebars just to clean off the surface rust on those we're not too worried about it because it is part of the patina of the bike so that's okay and then I'm going to use the auto glim ceramic spray on these parts just to protect them off a little bit to stop the water sticking to them again to reintroduce any rust that we've cleaned off you can see there parts have got a little bit of surface rust on them but they're more than suitable for reuse they'll mechanically be absolutely perfect and that's what I love about a patinaed off bike is that you can have a bike mechanically is an absolute joy to ride and yet looks so vintage so original and it belies the service that it's had done that people don't realize just what good condition mechanically a bike can end up and they'll see you riding past and go oh that's a lovely old bike but actually it's spot on so now we're greasing a couple of the components this actuation chain for the free speed hub i put a little bit of pop slip on the threads general purpose grease on the actuator itself and a little bit of thin oil on the chain that actually operates that so that's all sorted out and then i'm going to straighten off those bent brake rods i tried to get them straight as i could then they should adjust up nicely and operate nicely once the bike is finished so i'm using a pair of pliers there to straighten those up i do those by eye you can get them pretty straight really certainly way way better than they were without replacing them and that's the ethos of the entire service now you can see here also we had a bent brake lever normally they touch in the center where my finger was there of the handlebars themselves the other one was in the center this one was way off to one side so i'm just going to straighten that up a little bit or rather bend it back so that it's actually in its correct position on the handlebar which is right in the center there so that we know that that's then put in correctly and you're not going to twist off to one side so we'd sort it out as well and now we can just start on other little detailing so we had a very ruckled chain guard here it was the original one there you can see the triumph logo so i'm going to try and shape that back a little bit to bring it back to some of its original shape so that when it's on the bike it's much much squarer to where it would have originally been and that's actually more than acceptable for a job of this nature wash that component down and then i'm going to actually polish it so we're using the auto glim super resin polish which you'll see us using on the frame as well i mean you can already see the reflection on that component absolutely popping out that's already and that's an early indication of where we're going with this bike in terms of how we can resurrect and restore the paintwork that is left on the bike and make the bike really pop out so that was a, a great start to the cleaning process of the frame there next up we're talking about this hub so with this one we're going to fully strip this down completely to component form you're going to be intrigued with this one as to how many components come out of this hub that's amazing the amount of parts that are in one of these and yet the simplicity of it the way they work the way they actuate the way they operate it's an ingenious system really so here you can see the bearings you can see how that grease has thickened off any grease on a bike should be very buttery to the to the touch almost like butter itself with the debris and the age it thickens off and that's why these components need servicing so we'll get all this apart now and out comes that three speed hub it looks very pasty and thick but out comes the original wheel bearings again you can see that thickened off grease there especially yeah that's a good example of it so we'll clean all that off get rid of all that re-lubricate everything we begin to strip down this hub so we'll get this back down to component form the little pawls that are in here they have a very very tiny little spring on these you can see it there it's like a literally like a hair a very very fine spring so we're cautious not to lose them you can see here this should be oil it's thickened up this should be a nice thin oil actuating and operating this so we're going to clean all that old oil and thickened off oil off of the components into the ultrasonic cleaner they go so we'll give those 15 minutes in the ultrasonic cleaner before we start to wash down and re-duplicate you can see they were black when they went in they're this lovely gunmetal finish so we know that we're really starting to get there clean off the pores themselves the actual center shaft for all the gearing and all the threads got one of our detailing brushes there we're using they're a nice bristled nylon brush perfect for this kind of work 
just to wash them off and to get right in deep into the little corners lovely little nylon brushes those we actually do those in a pack of five but i'll talk about that further down the video so now we're going to clean off the hub as well i'm using a brass bristled brush for that to clean off between the spokes and as you can see there what a huge difference instantly that makes a little bit of cleaning to this so we're also cleaning off the inside of the threads there making sure everything's right the outside of the hub as well i'm actually using a toothbrush simple thing really but it's easy for me to get behind the spokes so i'm going to really clean this hub up and make sure that i'm happy with it and make sure that the integrity of all the spokes is okay and i'm also going to work on this rim i'm using some wire wool on there just to get it much much smoother so that when the new pads go on there they're not going to grab old rusty parts on that rim unfortunately there's a bit of a trait of these rims because you break on that chrome surface they most of them at this age are going rusty or have deterioration in some form you're very very lucky if you've got a rim that's looking like an original one it's probably never been used if it is and we love our used bikes so next up in go the bearings we are using our premium grease you have to remember that the hub itself is oiled so I don't use too much oil otherwise I flush out the grease on those bearings we're just doing there a little bit of our premium grease and get everything back together with a, a nice grease fresh bearings so in go the fresh bearings now and this will ride like a new bike when it's done so on go those bearings a bit of extra grease around the surface just to hold everything together while we put it back together the ring goes back on which holds those bearings now with these hubs I like to oil all the centers of any pivots because I've seen these where they get put back together and then they're oiled while well, you haven't oiled in the center of the pivot so that the actual point that is pivoting on itself is not lubricated initially so we want to make sure that in this instance that is the case that everything is lubricated especially when it comes to the planet wheels we're trying to minimize the friction on those so we really take our time lubricating those pins that go through the planet wheels now and in they go so everything now is lubricated in its centers where it rolls so that's good practice I'm going to really lubricate these cogs themselves to make sure that they're ready to go into the hub but without over oiling we don't want this to be an oil bath so we just coat everything evenly so that it actuates nicely once it's on the bike so you can see here quite a lot of points to go back in a bit like a jigsaw puzzle but it's not that complicated it's very easy to put back together i did take some photos as i took it apart to remind myself the order everything went and check them on the rebuild and now we're getting it all back together so in goes that back in goes that hub so i'm just going to put the center of the bearing in there to hold everything together before i lock that lock ring off and now i'm happy with that hub back together now i can get the sprocket back on the wheel before reinstalling that on the frame so you can see what huge difference we've made to that hub there everything now is working as it should so i'm quite excited at this point to get this back on the bike and take this for a spin i love riding these bikes so working on one like this is incredibly exciting really now i'm oiling up the hub again i don't pump in too much otherwise oil leaks all over the rim so a little bit of oil there you don't need to do that too regularly but just keep everything lubricated in there nicely now this wheel had a puncture so i've swapped out the old inner tube for a new one and then i turned the tire to line up the logo with the inner tube valve which is a rule of thumb of ours really you can see their rally record that's the original tire there so we're just putting that over the valve so i'm happy with the hub now happy with the rear wheel done the front wheel as well off camera so next up for us it's the headset bearings and in this instance you can see how dry they are they've dried completely out there's no grease no oil left in there so we're going to clean off the parts put in new bearings and that will make the steering itself feel less gravelly less dry and even the steering on the bike will be improved by re-lubricating and putting in new bearings into that headset so i'm washing off the components washing off the port tops themselves to make sure that those threads are nice and clean those cups are nice and clean it will just make my job easier when i put it back together use a spray degreaser on the cup there and i work that around with some wire wool to really clean it up so that i'm quite happy with you can see there what huge difference even a little clean up there makes and I'm going to try and get some rust off the bottom cups as well to make that a little bit nicer as well. So that's that's fine. Next up, premium grease with our syringe applicator. Again, you can buy those on our website and new bearings go in there. So that's looking really, really nice now. I use a pair of tweezers there on the bearings, which is the least fiddly way to do it. 
and put some of our premium grease over the top again which just stops anything falling I hold them against gravity when I put everything back together because it's quite easy to knock these as you're putting them together again some of our general purpose grease on the threads there to help my cups and cones go back on there so on goes the cup there on goes the lock nut and that's now absolutely perfect and I'm more than happy with that now I'm going to do a repair here on the mud guard. so the stay was broken off so I'm going to weld that back on there a couple of spot welds there will hold that in place just make all the difference to that and then I glue that with a little bit of black paint to make sure that that wouldn't go rusty and then also glue a little bit of black on the bottom here because this was extremely rusty and I wouldn't normally do this but to take your eye away from it I blow over it with the black paint just to stop that rust moving down the line and then the front mud guard itself was deformed and out of shape it's almost flattened off at the bottom so I'm just going to put a little bit of curvature back in that and that will actually allow it to sit to the shape of the tire itself a little bit better once the bike is finished and now we're going to get those mud guards back on the bike because we're going to wash down this paintwork and polish it and ceramic coat it as these are painted parts we're just going to do those at the same time that we do the rest of the bike and now i'm going to wash down this frame so we're using a soapy spray there initially to get the frame nice and wet and then we're using our big softy brush to wash down the frame lovely soft nylon bristle brush but it's more like a sponge we use this on a lot of the videos well in fact all of them it's just a lovely way of washing down a frame and then a little bit of degreaser across the bottom there and we're using our lovely nylon detailing brush there which we sell in a pack of five so do check out our website you can get these big softy brushes the detailing brushes the polishes that we use the ceramic coating that we use and of course our grease syringes which you can buy all of those on our website so do check out our website bikespeeds.com the link is in the description below and it mean the world to me and simon if you took a look over there so i've washed this down now i'm going to use our resin polish and really make this begin to absolutely pop out as you can begin to see the reflection in the paint polishing this this way we bring some moisture and shine back to the paint it's obviously dried out over many many years so we're rehydrating a shine back onto it it doesn't take super long but it is one of the biggest moments for turning this bike around there's a lot of rust on this frame but boy you can make these frames absolutely pop out with just this little bit of detailing so we used our resin polish look at the reflection on that fork behind that shot now we're going to use our ceramic spray to really make this bike sing out to us so this will also protect the frame from water and dirt and debris sticking to that frame too much it's great on an old frame like this as well as your modern bikes but it's a way to really give that bike that final piece of protection that final finish to the polishing and that, that process so we're really happy now the frame is ready to be rebuilt so our first stage of rebuild is to put this bottom bracket back in so i'm putting new bearings on there again a little bit of our premium grease because it's beautiful for bearings on there and also as you can see here it'll hold the bearings against gravity which is perfect for this kind of work so that's all done now a bit of copper grease on the threads themselves so in go the bottom bracket with the first set of bearings in goes that cup spins in beautifully with that copper grease on the threads lock that off and we're now happy that that bottom bracket's got lovely bearings we're going to do a spin test in a second so you're going to see that so we get on the chain set get on the two pedal arms do those up we use our copper grease on the threads of the pedals we didn't show us breaking these off but it took me and Simon pushing full force against each other to break the corrosion so greasing these is a really important step torque up the pedals one of the few things we actually use the torque wrench for on this bike but look at this look that's incredible what a lovely bearing that is in there now spins and spins and spins modern bottom brackets wouldn't spin that much look at it still going it's amazing not to mention the shine on that chain set that looks great so at this point it's great to see it coming together after the day's filming that's absolutely perfect on goes that front wheel that's had new bearings in it on goes the back wheel which has had all the work on there and we're putting a new chain on this one because as you saw at the start the chain was completely stretched out this is a rust resistant chain as well so it's a really nice chain going on there for a single speed chain and we can begin to get everything back on this bike so on go the handlebars initially on goes the shifter for the three speed Sturmi Archer hub and then we're going to pop on our handlebar grips 
which we've cleaned up as well so i'm quite happy that that cockpit now is looking really really nice and we're actually using hairspray there just to stop those coming off again using a general purpose grease here to help these components slide because they are adjustable so as you get wear in the pads it's those that you use to adjust the brakes on a bike like this so we want those to slide up and down their sliders to be able to be adjusted and then i'm using a thin oil on the pivot points themselves so that there's no friction then some general purpose grease and copper grease on the threaded bolts again so that they actuate nicely they're serviceable moving down the line again there general purpose grease copper grease on that center pivot point there for the bottom pivot right down by the bottom bracket there so there's a few processes involved with getting these sort of components back together but it's that process that will make them actuate nicely be easy to adjust moving down the line as they wear and everything there is looking good and will also come apart again in the future should we need to take it apart and resurface it so again that general purpose grease on the slider put new brake pads on this so there weren't a lot of costs on this bike we had the bearings the chain the brake pads the cable for the three-speed sturmy hut but other than that there was very very little cost involved with this bike so it's amazing what you can do with very very little money to get a lovely lovely retro bike so we're putting these brakes back together they're the little sliders that fit on the frame to allow those pads to slide in and out so the rear brake now is all together now we're going to deal with the front brake and again those sliders are lubricated new brake pads everything goes back together nicely and once it actuates and works they work absolutely perfectly i use silicon grease on the sliders of these brakes we don't often need silicon but this is perfect for it it's amazing what you can do with them really in terms of making them work so perfectly i mean this bike when it came in was not working i actually rode this bike before we started this work and the rear brake wasn't working at all the front was extremely dicey the gears weren't working after we had done the work it rode perfectly some more thin oil on the brake levers not loads but it all builds up to a smooth actuation so on goes the new cable for the rear three speed sturmy hub they're still available so it's not bad practice really just to replace those because the old cable was kinked and damaged and rusty and it just would never have changed gear very nicely with the original cable so we're putting a new cable in for this one just clip off the end the new tail on there so we've now got all the gears working everything's back on a couple of little clips back on the frame just to hold that cable i noticed this that the original holder for the pump was bent out so i straightened that as well before i checked the gears and adjusted those gears are working perfectly so we're quite happy there so it's changing gear nicely everything's working as it should with that hub check the brakes as well and you can see that working absolutely spot on so we've got front and rear brakes working gears working all those parts are looking lovely and shiny on goes the original chain guard which looks great along with its original fittings and now one of the final parts for us is to put this old dynamo set back on it it did work everything was working perfectly so there was no need to discard it or take it off the bike but i did find these clips here to hold all these fittings that were originally taped to the frame so i'm going to clip those in rather than using the tape because it's a little bit more period correct than using electrical tape to hold everything together so we give that a final test as you can see dynamo is working absolutely as it should so that's a good thing to see a lovely old dynamo still working well and having absolutely no problems at all plenty of light coming out of that so this bike can be used in the dark as well which is perfect for a town bike of this nature to have lights on it that are working as well so look at this bang what a difference this bike was 40 pounds lovely old triumph town bike with lovely rod actuated brakes three speed sturmy internal hub now it's got all new bearings everything working as it should for absolutely minimal investment look at that what a difference so i thoroughly enjoyed doing this bike i hope you've enjoyed watching this video if you have and you're new to the channel please do subscribe please like the video drop a comment about your oldest bike in your collection tell us all about it this is the kind of work we do week in week out on the channel we take bikes normally bikes that are brought in by customers that we're servicing but occasionally we'll buy a bike like this to do up and service ourselves so if you've enjoyed this please do check in again next week and we'll see you then bye for now